Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another JF Scholars episode. Today, we are on our Town Hall 13 account. But more importantly, I have a very fun episode planned where we are asking AI or ChatGBT, hey, what army should we use to push in trophies on this Town Hall 13 account? And if you have not used ChatGBT, uh, you're going to be in for a treat today, and I would recommend it. And if you do end up enjoying this video, help me out by liking and subscribing. We are almost halfway to our goal of 5,000 subscribers, so almost at 2,500 subscribers, and that'll unlock our creator code at 5K. So we're almost halfway there. So I really appreciate you guys. If you do end up joining, help me out a little bit. All right, so ChatGBT, it is very cool. We basically can give uh, this AI prompts, and it will spit out a slew of basically what it thinks we should do. And you can use this in your everyday. Obviously, you can use this for class. I've been tinkering around with it uh, for YouTube and whatnot. So, for example, last night, I asked ChatGBT uh, how to grow a small YouTube channel. Spelling uh, channel wrong, but who cares? I'm not an English major. Uh, and it's pretty cool. Look, it gives me a basically 15 steps of how to do that. And then I was like, hey, uh, can you give me a title for my YouTube uh, uh, video with a rushed uh, player involved? Uh, yeah, then it, it gave me a lot of that. I was like, what makes a good thumbnail? And as you see, you can just, I'm having full-blown conversations with this AI. But this made me wonder, hey, can it choose our army for us as well? Um, I don't know. And I want to try it out today. Uh, but let's see, right? So I'm going to say... Uh, obviously, the more information we give the AI, the more uh, basically responses or the better responses it will give us back. So I'm going to say, give me a Town Hall 13 army in Clash of Clans. And then... Do we want air or ground? We should probably tell it now. I am going to go ground. Ground attack with a ground attack with a log launcher. So that should give uh, the AI enough uh, information. Here we go. Wow, okay, they are giving us a lot of information here. And they're telling us exactly how to do it. So let's read through it, and then I will uh, get it ready. So right here it says Town Hall 13, ground log attack. Certainly, Town Hall 13 in Clash Clans offers a variety of powerful strategies for ground attacks, and incorporating a log launcher can be quite effective. Here's an example of a Town Hall 13 attack strategy using a log launcher. Uh, obviously, it wants us to bring all of our heroes uh, we also have the Royal Champion we'll throw in there as well. Seed Machine, obviously going to be that Log Launcher. Main Ground Troops, uh, Yetis, Max Levels, Yeti Bomb, Max Level, Super Giants, okay, and Wizards. Supporting Troops, Wall Breakers, Archers, Earthquakes. Okay, all right. It didn't give us the exact amount, uh, but I'm going to go in now and create this army, and then before we go attack, we will read how it wants us to uh, attack. We will read the attack strategy. All right, perfect. I have cooked up the army, and here's what I'm going to go with. I tried to follow what the AI was saying for the most part. Uh, they told me the exact amount of spells that I need. They didn't quite tell me the troop amount, but I kind of used my best clash knowledge to know what I probably should use here. And full disclaimer, I have never used super giants before. Uh, so this is going to be pretty entertaining. So more importantly, I am really going to have to pay attention to how it is telling us to attack. So here we go. Let's read it closely here. Creating the funnel. Start by deploying a couple of super giants to create a funnel on one side of the base. So I'm saying probably one of the flat sides of the base here. Use wizards and yetis to clear outer structures and create a path towards the core. Okay, we can do that. Just typical funneling. Log launcher deployment. Deploy the log launcher at a strategic location to target the core of the base. Ensure that the log launcher breaks through the walls and opens up the path, the main ground force. Main ground force is probably going to be your heroes. Send in the yetis, yeti bombs, and super giants through the opening created by the log launcher. Follow them up with wall breakers to further open up the base. Okay, 
deploy the Barbarian King, Archer Queen, and Grand Warden to support the main ground force. I'm also going to send in the Royal Champion as well. Use the Grand Warden's ability to protect the troops during crucial moments. Uh, so that'll be, of course, the Eternal Tome, I, I believe it's uh, talking about here. Supporting troops, deploy additional wizards and archers to clear any remaining structures on the sides. Uh, use Wallberry strategically to help the main force progress through the base. Spells, use Earthquake spells to weaken and damage the core structures. Deploy Rage, deploy rage spell to enhance attack speed and damage of your main troops. Utilize free spells to temporarily disable key defenses during the attack. It's probably going to be those scatter shots or Eagle Artillery. Then drop the poison spell on defending clan castle troops or skeletons. Remember to adapt the strategy based on specific layout, blah, 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 blah. Okay, AI, I think you have given me a pretty decent strategy, and now it's going to be uh, totally up to me. Uh, I, I can't blame the AI here. Let's get back to Clash of Clans here. Now i got to wait seven minutes, but once these seven minutes are up, we're, let's go and try it out. All right, perfect. I have found the base, and now let's use ChatGBT army to win us a attack and look at the loot in the top left hand corner 1.5 million elixir the first thing it told us to do is work on the sides of the base uh and work with the core so instead i'm going to open up hmm yeah we're going to open up the core one two three four right here there we go town hall eagle artillery is a little bit low log launcher is going to go right through there i am going to wall break on this side wall break on this side and also wall break right here okay wall break didn't quite go there and then i'm gonna go giants here giants here giants here yetis on either side we're gonna go log launcher down the middle with the king queen warden royal champion the rest of the yetis right in there and then we're gonna start scattering some wizards down behind all right, this is looking good so far. We've created the funnel, like ChatGBT said. We started with the Super Giants, and then behind, we have the main core army go into the core. We're going to use the Warden ability to protect the majority of the base right there. There we go. And the King's ability we can use right now. And I guess let's just, like, keep raging up our heroes, right? So rage up our King, Queen, our Yetis in the core here and yeah it's not looking it's looking fine we have some cleanup on the back side uh the heroes are still alive a couple of the yetis are still alive uh we have some freezes left over i think it's gonna be a three star chat gbt got us a three star and grant i do not use yetis i do not use super giants but i followed just my clash instincts and you know uh, a little bit of the the information that chat gbt told me to use and, well, it worked out, right? I don't think the spell placement was great, but this was my first ever attack on a ring base that many people don't like attacking at all. Uh, but I think we should try it one more time uh, to see if this wasn't just a fluke. All right, here we go. This looks like more of a typical war style base. So let's open up the core here with all four of our earthquakes. One, two, three, four. That'll open up all of these compartments here. And now I plan just rolling the log launcher right through here. Um, so, of course, we will place a couple of our super giants. Let's just screw it. We're placing a line of super giants, a couple yetis, and let's just go in with the log launcher right here. We will do an early wall breaker just to make sure the log launcher goes a little bit quicker. We will send some yetis in, our warden, our royal champion. Yeah, we're kind of just spamming things in here. But we want the core army to go into the base as quickly as possible. I'm going to use a early warden ability to protect from all these eagle shots here. And let's just keep basically raging up these uh, troops as they go into the core here. We are going to freeze and freeze. And we're going to do one more rage as they're approaching that town hall. As we can see, the log launcher has broken up. Two more yetis have come out of the CC. Uh, we have our king, yetis, uh, it's it's looking pretty good overall. We do have some wizards just for cleanup. I'm going to throw them in on this far side over here. The town hall is starting to be an issue. I'm going to use the quake ability on the king to make sure we can open up the base a little bit more. That's the nice thing with this attack strategy with that quake ability is with the log launcher, with the uh, earthquake abilities, 
we are just opening up the base left and right uh, and it's looking really good for another three star i'm gonna use my royal champion ability right there i obviously can kind of swag this poison spell right here uh but the royal champion looks like she's gonna clean up the majority of these defenses and the queen still has her ability on the back end and we have the yeti the warden again it's not a perfect attack ever but for it being my first time ever ai has helped me uh become a decent attacker so really guys i would really recommend checking out chat GBT just for the heck of it right uh tell me about rushing in clash of clans all right boom and then it's going to give us the advantages of rushing it's going to give us the disadvantages of rushing but you also need to keep in mind this is chat gbt 3.5 and not 4.0 this is the free version so its information is not perfect right its information is only from uh 2021 i believe and earlier right so any uh new information like the ores coming to the game uh it wouldn't the chat gbt would have no idea about that right if you wanted of course you could buy chat gbt4 and that is up to current day browsing um and i don't know maybe in a future video if you want to see me try that out i will try it maybe for a couple videos see if it could tell us anything about clash of clans but again if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to like make sure to subscribe help me get to 5,000 subscribers by i don't want to set a goal let's let's not put any pressure on ourselves but i'll see you guys next time i've been jake as always goodbye